Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to create a YouTube channel banner or YouTube channel art. And in the last four years, I've created about a dozen of them using different softwares for different channels. And this is probably one of my favorite ways to, for beginners actually, to do this because it doesn't require any advanced skills. So I've used Photoshop to create them. That's one of my favorite ways, but it does take a little bit of getting to know Photoshop before you could do that. I've used this app which is a website actually called Canva. It's free to use with some paid upgrades that I'll mention throughout the video. And I've done it on my phone. So the next video I'll make is how to do this completely on your phone, including putting it on YouTube. But this video is gonna be using canva.com for free to create a channel art from scratch. Let's jump in. And if you've never used Canva before, it's okay because this is probably the best way to do this if you don't know anything about design or how to create these things. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is click the link below to come to this website. The link is in the description. And once you come here, you could click on social and find YouTube channel art, or you could just press create design. This is my favorite way to do it and type in YouTube channel art here, and then it should show up right on top. Now the size 2560 by 1440 pixel is something you don't have to worry about because Canva is actually telling you what size it should be. But if you were doing this on Photoshop or different apps, sometimes you have to know this number and create a uh, basically a blank canvas with this size. But here we just have to select that and it will open up our design for us. Now, how do you get started with creating your channel art? Two ways you could go about it. One way is by default, you land on this thing called templates and on the template page, all you have to do is select one of the templates that show up here. So if I select this, for example, right here, all you have to do is edit it. So it just puts in a YouTube channel banner for you with the text in the right place, the background's already there. You could just go ahead and double click to edit the text. So my channel's called Halfinity here. And then I could go ahead and move this around or even select it. And I'll just type in 150 here to just make it smaller, press enter and move it up. I'll just select this section, move it up, put it on a box put what this channel is about. So here I could select this box, delete it, maybe move this down. Anything I could do with any design, I could do it with templates too. So this is a really, really great way to get started. If you don't know anything about designing a thumbnail or have zero design skills, you could literally select any of this for the genre that you're creating a thumbnail for or for the channel niche and it's all set. Look at all these different ones. You could type in like cooking, for example, if you have a cooking channel, press enter and look at all these for cooking. You just select them and there you go. You already remembered my text from the last one too. Okay, so this is one way to do it. I'm gonna press the garbage can here because I want to delete everything and start from scratch. But if you don't know anything, use a template, it makes it easier. Let's design a banner from scratch. The first thing I do is I put a background first. So I'll go to photos. You could also upload something. If you have a photo that you want to make your background, select this and upload it from your computer or drop it in from your phone. But I'm going to choose photos here and you could look up anything. So my channel is about content creation, right? So I'll look up video, for example, and I'll get a bunch of different options to choose. Now you see some of them say free if you scroll over them and some of them will have this little crown that says pro. For the pro ones, you need to have Canva Pro, which is a monthly fee. But if you're only doing this for your template, just choose a free option. But if you're using this to make thumbnails and other things for social media, I do recommend the pro option. I do have a link to a free trial of Pro 2 in the description you could try out. So you don't get this crown here. But if you choose things with the crown, you do have to pay. I'll just choose this free one here and it's gonna put it right on my canvas as soon as I click it. If you right click on any of them, it's gonna let you set it as background, okay? So this is the very first step typically that I do with a blank design. I go to photos or upload a photo and set it as my background, okay? Now, what's step two? Well, now maybe you want to add some uh, elements here like a text box or just a box. So I go to elements and then I look up this section called shapes and I'll just choose this square shape here. Okay, there we go. And I'll go ahead and kind of resize it here to go from side to side and snap to the sides here. And I'll just shrink it down because I know it doesn't need to be that big. So I'll kind of make it this size, make sure it's somewhat in the center. This guide helps me to do that, this line. 
and I don't like the color at all. So I'm going to come over here and press this box, the color box and change the color. Okay. So maybe let's see what this blue looks like. That's not bad. You could also click, uh, select this new color box right here and just have a very specific color that you could type in. Or if you know the number for a color from a different place, you could type this in over here too. Okay. So this is what I'm using for mine. And then I want to add text. Okay. So I added a background photo. I added the shape. Now let's go to the text tab right here. So everything is just nice and easy to choose right here. You could choose a text for a page, one of these headings, for example, or use one of these font combinations that I really like. So I'm going to choose this one, actually select it and it's going to put it on your design. Now I'm going to shrink this down because I need this to fit this box right here in the middle. Now, the way if you look at YouTube thumb or YouTube channel arts on your phone or website, you'll notice they're not actually this shape. They're a lot narrower, more like this shape. So what's going on over here? Well, by default, everything is designed to fit on a TV because some people watch YouTube on TV and then it will work on everything else too. So if it works on TV, everything that you see here will show up on TV, but on the phone, maybe just this section shows up. So this way I'll show you when you actually post it on YouTube, what to do and how to resize it too. And you'll get an idea of what shows up on a phone, what shows up on a TV, what shows up on youtube.com. Let's go ahead and edit this text. I'm going to double click the top part. It's going to say half infinity and it's actually not a good size. So I'll have to stretch this out over here. There we go. And it didn't really do what I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and press this undo option one time, two times. And there we go. We're back to what we had. What I want to do is I want to delete this bottom part. Actually, I'll just press delete and I just want to change the text up here. So I'll type in half infinity here and grab the corners because I just want all of this to be on one line for my channel name. Okay. So now I could grab this box and let me just grab it here and move it over kind of center it on the page. There we go. This is center on the page. Now I'm going to bring in another box. I'll select this again. And this time I'm going to delete the top and edit the bottom. Okay. So I'll select all this and name this content or how to videos for creators. Okay. Now I'm going to select all this. Obviously it's too big and I'll come over here and type in my font size. Let me try 80 here. Press enter. Oh, perfect. So now with the font of 80, let me go ahead and just click away so I could select this and bring it up to my box. Okay. So it's a little bit big, so I'll grab the corners to stretch it down. There we go. Let's put it in the center. Now, what about color changes? Let me double click this big font here. There we go. I'll select all this and up here, you know, you have font options and font styling. You also have color. So I'll make this white. And I'll do the same thing. Actually, this is fine in yellow, but you could actually select any of these fonts and change the color. So I'll leave this on yellow. Let me click away to look. That's not bad. It, it looks pretty good. I'm going to stretch out this box just a little bit more. There we go. So my font is right in the middle of it. Okay. So what about this box right here? Can you make any adjustments to it besides the color? I'm going to select it and I'm going to make it more transparent. So you see the background a little bit more. That's this box. Select it and bring the transparency down. So if you go to zero, it just disappears and it helps separate the background from the foreground. So I'll leave it at 90 and let me click away. That's looking pretty good. What else can you do with this? Well, there's these things called elements again, where we chose a shape, but there's also a bunch of other things like kind of stickers. Okay. So I usually like to put a subscribe icon. So I look up subscribe here and I'll select one of these free icons over here to add to my design. So maybe this is good. Maybe the thumbs up button right here could be good. And I'll shrink this down and put it over here. Now with these, you could also change the color. So I'll come over here, select it and make it white. I can make it red. It doesn't look good on this design. So I'll make it white. There we go. Okay. So let's say this is our design just for simplifying this video. What can we do next? Well, you'll need to get this to YouTube. So you'll have to download it from Canva. Canva by default is saving all of this. So if something doesn't look right on YouTube, just come back here, literally move anything around and download a new version. But right now, all you have to do is press download right here. 
and PNG is fine or JPEG, choose one of these two. I'll leave it on PNG. The size is already set, so it's on gray right now because we chose this design on purpose to fit YouTube, so I'll press download right here. It's gonna take it just a second to download this, and once it's done, it's gonna be in your download folder. There we go. Right now it's on my download folder, so let's go to YouTube, and here all you have to do is press your profile icon on youtube.com, and press my channel. That will bring you to this page. And don't worry about this section right here. This is showing you how many views you have and how many videos you have. This is a plugin called TubeBuddy, which is right over here. And if you're new to YouTube and you don't have TubeBuddy, I highly recommend having TubeBuddy because it lets you basically explore keywords. It has a SEO studio. It lets you do a lot for ranking your videos here. I have their highest plan, it gives me a bunch of options. So I'll put a link in the description. You should definitely try it out. You could use it completely for free. You don't have to get any other paid upgrades. Okay, now to add a banner, this is my banner right now. So to add a banner, I just press this icon right here, this picture icon, select it. It brings you to this page and here you could change your profile picture and you could change your banner image. That's what I wanna do in my case. I wanna change the banner image. I'm gonna select this option right here, change. And right here, there's the download folder. It's over here, I'm gonna press enter. And there we go. So you see the way I designed it, it ended up working just fine, where this is viewable on TV. This part is viewable on the desktop, okay? Which looks like it crops that like uh, thumb that I put over here. I should put that on this side probably. But everything else fits right. Sometimes if it doesn't fit right, you could try to resize things like this, okay? But what I recommend is if it doesn't fit right, that you go back to Canva and you move some of these elements around to make sure they fit right here, especially where it says viewable on all devices. You wanna make sure your text definitely doesn't get cropped on top and bottom and fits perfectly here, okay? So if you like it, you just press done here and it will go ahead and change it. You see it just changed it and it's cropping a little bit. So I might go ahead and change that and uh, I'll just have to go back to Canva to change that. But if you're happy, press publish. If you're not happy, go back to Canva select any of this, move it around, shrink it down, make it smaller if you want. And then if you're happy, like I'll move this thumb over here. I know it didn't fit on the other one. I'll make sure this is a little bit smaller and I'll move it where I want. There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and press download on this, PNG, press download. And as soon as it's done, I'll go back to YouTube here and change it again and then press publish, okay? So just to make sure I have it looking perfect on my channel. And it's that simple to create and upload your YouTube channel art. And it's one of the best things that you have as far as getting subscribers to your channel. Because if your channel art says your channel name, why people should subscribe with that one line explaining what your channel is all about, it really encourages people to subscribe because they easily understand what your channel is all about. Is it for them? Yes, they'll click subscribe especially if you put a little arrow to the subscribe using one of those elements. Sometimes I do that too. That way it just encourages them to subscribe with a little bit of a call to action, okay? I have ton of tutorials on YouTube and I'm making more all the time. I'll also make more channel art videos for using different apps and using it on your phone too. I'll put those in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.